everyone, it's great to see you. Today I'm going to be talking about taking care of your daylilies as we get along later in the season. If you're lucky like me, we still have some daylilies that are going strong. In fact, I want to show you a couple that look really beautiful today. There's one right over here. Here we have Victorian lace, which was new to me last year. This is the first year it's really bloomed and I love that it is so big and ruffly and it's on the late side because we have a lot more buds coming here for it. And right behind it, we have persimmon punch, which is also beautiful right now. Come with me a little further in the yard. Over here we have Vicky's Radiance, Copper Kettle, and Christmas Ruby, which are still going pretty strong, which is just beautiful to see their colors. So let me show you how we can take care of these. Sadly, it is coming to the end of daylily season. So there's a lot of tidying that we need to do with our daylilies as they finish up blooming. We have the deadheading, which we've talked a lot about for those flowers that are spent. It's the, they've lived their day, it's past that one day, and now it's time to break them off. And then we're getting to the time of year where now it's time to start cutting down the stalks that have no more blossoms left on them. So I just want to really quickly review with you how I do that. So first I'm going to look over here. With a daylily stalk like this, I have a daylily in bloom. I have yesterday's dead daylily, and then I have some buds that are coming. So to deadhead this, I just very carefully pinch the bottom and snap it off. And that keeps the stalk looking clean for the new flowers. Now, as you've done this, you're eventually gonna get a stalk that looks like this. A stalk that looks like this has no more blossoms left. So I can now go ahead and cut this whole stalk off. So all I do is follow it down as far as I can reach and snip it. It doesn't have to be all the way to the ground, but you want it out of sight because this is not super pretty in your garden. So here's my nice patch of South Seas Daylilies. And you can see like this stalk here is completely finished. So it's fine for me to reach in and just take that one out. The only time you might not want to cut one of these is if there is a seed pod on it. These don't have anything on top of it, so I have no reason to keep a stalk like this. However, if you look at over here, you'll see that there is a seed pod on this stalk. So some people like to wait until these turn brown and break open on the top and they collect the seeds from their daylilies. Now, just because you have seeds for this daylily does not mean it's going to grow. Um, it won't grow the exact same daylily. You don't know if it's going to be a really good daylily or not, but sometimes it's fun to collect them and grow them and see what you end up with. So if you have seed pods, you may choose to leave this stalk. I don't tend to collect the seeds here, so I cut this part down too. Here's another example of a stalk that I haven't cut down yet. So you'll see that this stalk is really turning pretty brown. If you don't cut them, you know, right when the last flower blooms, they will turn to what looks like a dead stick. It just isn't a great look in your garden. So I prefer to cut them off before they get to the stage. So now I'm gonna go ahead and keep trimming my daylilies and tidying them up. Good luck as you take care of yours. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next video.